another Valentine's Day single and alone. But it's okay because I got my Rocket Raccoon plush to keep me company. <laughs> Please don't read into that. I mean, with enough tissues, lube, and beer, I'll be pretty happy this Valentine's Day. I'm a little bit worried about my brother. Let me show you his condition. It's kind of ugly. Follow me. So every Valentine's Day, he watches that Japanese Spider-Man episode where Japanese Spider-Man is trying to help the dad find his son, but the dad dies in the end. So here he is. It's the uh, boy on the plane. Dad's dying. He's just watching. Does he know I'm here? What a sad boy. I mean, he's smiling right now because <laughs> although he's single and alone, at least he's not a dying dad that can't go to his son on a plane. Holy shit. Justin, turn the shit off. Turn it off, man. Justin, come on, please. So it's, it's, it's pretty much over. To be continued, it doesn't continue. They don't go over the storyline. Come on. Justin, talk to me. He's worse than I thought. Justin, what can I do to make you happy? How can I make this pain go away? Do I need to dress up as a girl and go out with you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out with your, with your problems. Put that phone away. I got something better. This is, uh, it's Picto Chat. It's uh, texting for poor people, so you could keep yourself busy, have some fun with that. Maybe uh, Picto Chat a nice girl or a boy. I don't know what you're into, man. I need to find another way to make him happy. All right, well figure something out. I haven't seen this sad since uh, Batman vs Superman. So for Valentine's Day, I decided to lie to my brother. I uh, wrote a letter saying I'm Michelle. Uh, Valentine's Day thing for Justin. I'm gonna put it in this bag here. And then I'm gonna get some candy from the dollar store and uh, give it to him. So let's do that. Later. Right, I got the goods. Um, I'm gonna ch check out what's going on. Justin, you watching porn? Can I come in? I don't care. I got some good news. You got a letter in, in the mail. No stamps, but that's how special you are. So read it out loud. To the strapping nice Jewish man reading <laughs> this. If you're reading this, it means that I got the coronavirus and <laughs> died horribly just because I'm dead and stuff and can never be with you doesn't mean I don't love you. Keep it together, man. Having said that, I need to know, will you be my valentine? Please get back to me as soon as... as as soon as you one day reach the afterlife, yours truly, Michelle. Michelle Obama wrote me this letter. Wow, that's that's her handwriting. The I, same handwriting she wrote her book with. Look at that. Wow. 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 Listen, I thought he was Republican or something. I didn't realize he even cared about Michelle Obama, but it worked. Son of a bitch, it worked. Wow. West. I'm gonna keep this forever. Wow. I'll definitely meet Michelle Obama. Should put in the that afternoon. in a museum since she's gone. Yeah. Not, not too many uh, letters. It's that... like her last thought was me. Michelle yeah, not Obama. even Barack. No, it was me. And it gets even better. We, uh. Food. She got you, uh. This chocolate right here, it says to and from, she didn't write that, she didn't have enough energy with the coronavirus and everything, but she want me, wanted me to give this to you. Alright, and with that, it's time for Jeets.
Welcome back to Justin Eats or Jeets. I'm here with my boy Justin. He got a chocolate from Michelle Obama for Valentine's Day. And he's going to eat it. It's gold, like Willy Wonka or something. You got the golden ticket. Dark Michelle Obama chocolate. Tastes like heartbreak, because Michelle Obama's dead. Dude, aren't you a Republican? <laughs> <laughs> why, don't you, why do you care? <laughs> Since she cared so much about health, she also wanted me to give you this chick piece. The good bean. She also wanted to knight you as an official Obama. So... I hope your heartbreak goes away. Mm. Kosher. Yeah, Michelle's a thing for those Jew boys. Doesn't matter if you're single or with somebody. Your heart can always get filled up with deadly cholesterol. And thank you, Michelle. I will see you in the afterlife one day. She knows it's too late.